Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a preview look at the demo for Stellar Blade on Sony's PlayStation 5. Set to release soon in April of 2024, this game really caught my eye from its first trailer way back in 2021 on Sony's PlayStation Showcase. Looking like a sci-fi fantasy action game, I was really impressed in the design, look, and of course the Devil May Cry and Bayonetta style of action. Starting out as Project Eve for the PlayStation 4, Windows PC, and Xbox One by developer Shift Up, Sony was able to snatch up and make this game exclusive for the PlayStation 5 console, making it one to look out for in 2024. A very highly anticipated game for an action junkie like myself, this game is right up my alley. The story takes place with humanity being driven from Earth after losing a war against alien invaders. To get their home Earth back, large legions of squadrons are deployed in their journey to try to take their homeland back. Honestly, the first thing that came into my mind after playing the intro of the game was Starship Troopers when they landed on the Bud planet and was decimated very quickly, leaving very little in fighting back. An Alpha Nativa! Let's join them! There are three modes to play in this game with performance, balance, and to prioritize resolution. I chose the default of balance mode as it best represents a balance between gameplay and visuals. Although they all look similar, it really comes down to resolution to frames per second. Prioritizing resolution does give you a really nice picture, but at 30 frames per second, which for me is not a good trade-off for this action game as it just doesn't feel responsive enough and very clunky. 60 frames per second in performance and balance mode really holds up and feels so much smoother is really the way to go. The gameplay is a mix between fast action, hack and slash with Demon Souls style of attacking. You will need to learn and observe your enemies as you attack to get a feel of how to dodge, block, and use precision attacks to your advantage. It's a process of trial and error over and over again until you get it right. Although very small sample size, it does feel nice and intuitive. Practice makes perfect and in this case, a lot of practice is needed. I did feel that the character was a bit too floaty with no weight when moving around. With transversing around the world, I wish that the character model would feel a bit more weight to ground them as they jump from platform to platform. The visuals and designs are what really draw you in. Very impressive, especially with the character models as the cutscenes are very well detailed and all in-game engine, which looks very impressive. A lot of care went into the designs of this game. The intro does transport you into their universe and quickly gives you a bunch of eye candy to mesmerize you. The second portion of the demo is extremely toned down, but still invites you to this apocalyptic world. So this must be Ador 7. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Overall, a very impressive demo to give you a taste onto what's to come. Very hopeful in this game in becoming the answer of stylized action packed mayhem on screen. That's it for this look at the demo of Stellar Blade on the PlayStation 5. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.
Yeah.